Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. Today we'll look at the triangles of the neck. Of the neck. So we'll be drawing the diagram. So first we'll draw the face. This will be the mandible. And below that we'll have the digastric. So as we draw them, we'll be labeling them. So this is nothing but the digastric. Anterior belly of the digastric. And we know there is a in between there will be a clink so this is a part of the digastric and then comes the posterior belly this will be the posterior belly of the digastric so let's label the purple is going to be the posterior belly of the digastric and the prominent structure which will arise This will be the sternocleidomastoid. So it will swirl around. So this is the SCM that is a sternocleidomastoid. And posteriorly there will be a trapezius. This is going to be the trapezius. The advantage of uh, labeling a diagram as soon as it is done is because you won't be forgetting to label it. So this is the trapezius and the space and inferiorly the bottom there is a inferior belly of Ummahayar. So let's change the color. This is the inferior belly of the Ummahayar. and on the other hand there is a superior belly of homohyoid so this will be the inferior belly and on the other hand there is going to be a superior belly of homohyoid this is nothing but the superior belly of homohyoid and why is it homohyoid because there is a presence of the homohyoid bone so this is nothing but the homohyoid homohyoid bone next is there is another submental triangle so let's look at the triangles so this is the space here will be the submental triangle next is we will look at the sub mandibular triangle this is below the mandible so this space let's highlight it so that it's easier this is the sub mental triangle this space will be the sub mandibular triangle this will be the sub mandibular triangle and moving on the space that is a triangle here this is going to be the carotid triangle this will be the carotid triangle carotid this is the carotid triangle and then in the posterior it is going to be the occipital triangle posteriorly this is going to be the occipital triangle So let's draw it. This is the occipital triangle. And so, so the major triangles which we are seeing is there is a submental triangle and there is a submandibular triangle. Then there is a carotid triangle as well as there is a presence of the occipital triangle so these are the major triangles of the neck